everyone, welcome to my channel. Yesterday we were invited to the launch of Maybelline's collaboration with Gigi Hadid and this is the Coast to Coast collection. Thank you so much Maybelline for the invite and thank you so much for sharing this very, very heavy and full set of the Coast to Coast collection. And rest assured, I'm gonna give you my honest feedback like I always do, but please be mindful that if I don't like anything, I will not talk shit about it because that's not how I am. I will, however, say it as constructive as possible. Gigi Hadid is this beautiful lady. She's the best friend of Kendall Jenner. She's a model. I'm sure you've seen her in the runway. There are three different sets of the Coast to Coast collection. Let's jump right into the collections. First, let's talk about the East Coast Glam Makeup. This is Gigi Hadid in the New York setting. This collection is all about being fierce, being bold, and being fresh. It's also about the cat eye. It's a very signature look to Gigi Hadid. So let's start with the tinted primer. This retails for 499 pesos. It's in the color light medium. That's what I have. It's supposed to achieve a perfect natural looking contour with this primer as your base. This primer is not actually for the whole face, but it's only for the areas where you contour. That's what we're gonna do right now. I've already primed and moisturized by the way. Put this where I contour. I'm not so sure if it's giving me anything at the moment. Oh, there actually is an effect. So only on the areas where I contour. It gives that very natural contour look. I'll also put that around my face. It doesn't have a scent. Definitely a very soft contour. Conting conting definition lang talaga. In the PR kit, there were two cushions included, and I think there are only two shades anyway. There's one in fair and one in natural, and this retails for 799 pesos. It claims to give a poreless coverage. I'm just gonna go ahead and use natural. It has an applicator, of course. I'm gonna dip the applicator, and you do get a lot of product right away. Kung gusto nyo ng sakto lang na coverage, wag niyo masyado idiin. I'm just gonna try it on one side first. If this foundation becomes too light for me, it's okay. I'm gonna try to use a darker powder later. That's one of the ways you can correct kasi, or bawiin mo na lang sa contour. I'm gonna add more coverage here. Medyo maputi siya tingnan, no? I'm pretty sure this will match my skin tone later because I am acidic. So maybe one of the things that this collection could have thought of is having a range of colors. I know cushions are mostly light because it's a Korean nga but syempre, for Asian skin tones, it's light yung available nila na colors. I'll just use my Nutra Organics in a rose water spray and this sponge from Miss Bella PH. So I'll just go through that with the damp sponge. Starting to oxidize on my skin. Mas nagiging makakatotohanan na yung kulay kasi sa kanina. Ito yung medyo darker among the two. I like it. It gives that parang smooth finish. I still have my zit though. I mean, it's, it's a dead zip, by the way. It's just a scar. I'm just gonna finish the other side of my face. And this is my face with the BB cushion in natural. It's a little bit but again, I'm confident that it will match the rest of my body maya maya. If you're not as acidic as me, this color may be too light. So I suggest if you use this, you could use a darker powder to just even it out. Next, we have the eyebrow pencil. The brow pencils retail for 249 pesos. You can achieve naturally defined full body brows. So every brow pencil has 0.2 grams of the product and it comes in two colors. There's one in brown and dark brown. Yung brown, medyo ano siya, meron siyang green undertone. I don't know if you can see it, but that's how I see it. Parang medyo green siya. Yung dark brown naman, it's cool tone. Para siyang medyo maroon na color. I can't explain it. Para parang maroon is siya for me. We're gonna um, do the brows today. I'm gonna use the dark brown pencil, of course. Siguro one thing that I was expecting was a spoolie, but it doesn't have a spoolie. I haven't been plucking my brows just because I think it looks more natural that way. Parang ayoko kasi ng masadong polido. 
It's okay. I can feel that there's a little wax here, but not too much. Parang sakto lang. When I brushed with a spoolie, hindi siya nawala, hindi siya umusog, so that's good, right? Just going through it again, because you know me, I like my brows dark. Okay naman. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put a little bit of brown powder over it. I'm also gonna use something from Gigi's collection, which brings me to the next part of the East Coast Glam Makeup. She has two of the eye contour palettes. The other one is warm, and the other one is cool. shades are nice. Some of the shades are nice, but some are a little bit too chalky. I think I prefer the warm palette over the cool palette just because cool colors, they're more difficult to wear. I'm just wondering why the base na color has the biggest pan as compared to the other pants na they're very tiny. But merong iba na okay, they're pigmented. Mer lang iba na kind of chalky. I'm gonna use the eye contour palette in warm. I'm gonna use this color. Para pang dagdag ng eyebrows ko kasi naman, di ba? Nakukulangan ako eh. Ito yung sinasabi ko, medyo chalky siya. If you look at that and I kind of swipe it, merong konting natatanggal na product. That's so much better than this one. Parang feeling ko mas defined na yung brows ko ngayon. I'm also going to explore yung cool tone na palette. I will get some of this. Now I'm gonna use the warm palette. Just this color. I like this one. Parang medyo mustard. I will put a little bit of this again. Sa bottom. I'm gonna put a little bit of this dark shadow on the corners of my eyes. Very blendable naman. dark, so I'm gonna get a little bit of the black color. So cool na palette. Very pigmented yung black. So mabra nga ata ako. I'll bring that up also. This is better, no? Mas ano, more definition. Up next is the liquid eyeliner. Meron din siyang gel eyeliner, but I don't have that in the PR kit. This retails for 349 pesos, and it's supposed to achieve a laser sharp precision with its 0.4 millimeter net tip. The tip is very tiny. It only comes in black. I'm gonna try my best to wing my liner. Kasi yun din signature look ni Gigi Hadid. It's that big cat eye. Pakapal na ng pakapal yung may nakakaloka. That's my cat eyeliner. Kung hindi ko siya napantay, I'm so sorry. I did my best. It is very black. Hindi siya katulad ng ibang eyeliners na pag ganun, may medyo makikita mo pa yung skin mo. So this one, it's very, it's very pigmented. Moving on to the mascara. This only comes in one color. It's black. And this is 499 pesos. You can get gorgeous lashes with this dual-ended fiber mascara. So it's really cool because it's dual-ended. One end has the fiber and the other end has the pigment, of course. Fiber mascara, it's supposed to give more volume to your lashes. So that's exactly what I want to achieve. I think I have to start first with the black mascara. And then while it's wet, we go in with the fiber. It's like having cotton on your lashes. I remember a friend telling me to do this. Eh. Maglagay do ng cotton sa loob ng tube ng mascara na paubos na. It works just like this. And then we coat it. Wow! Can you see that? I have longer lashes now. Haba oh! Wow! I think it's effective. Even the mascara alone is good naman. Coats my lashes well. I feel like it also volumizes it. But because I'm really curious about the fiber mascara, I'm also gonna put that below. <sighs> Not really sure if this is how you do it, but it's working for me today. Yun, grabe, parang ang dami kong lower lashes. This is perfect for when you're doing a smoky eye. And this is a close-up of my lashes with the fiber mascara and 
my lashes without the fiber mascara. I don't know, I can see it from the side. Ano lang, siguro masasabi ko lang, hindi mo siya maha-curl ng maayos. Because there is fiber. So I tried curling it, medyo kumusog yung mga fiber. I like what it did to my lower lashes. Do you see that? Oh my god, there is so much difference. I love the fiber mascara on the lower lashes, siguro. Grabe, para instant smoky eyes yung mata ko because of the fiber mascara. So real quick lang, I'm gonna contour because I can't, I cannot deal with my face without contour. For the blush and contour, I'm gonna use the Jet Setter palette. So ito yung parang travel palette niya, which I will talk more about in a bit. I just wanna quickly get some of the blush and the contour. If you ask me, the contour is too warm for my liking. I think what she was going for here was a bronzer slash contour kaya medyo warm yung shade parang ang challenging kumuha cause if your brush is brown syempre for blush diba if I get that only this part is gonna get concentrated with the blush there's also a fair amount of kickback whenever I brush ayan no medyo may nalalaglag siya buti it's ano it's blendable naman better no better with color I'm just not sure how this will register for darker skin. And that's it for the blush. I like it. It's just, you know, the right amount of blush. I'm kind of nervous because it's a little warm, but I'll try anyway. So I'll dip the brush. Oh, not bad. It's actually a good shade. Sorry, I judged it by looking at it, but when you use it, okay na siya. It can get a little too warm though. So I'm just gonna brush through. So magdadagdag la ako ng konting brows dahil hindi yung mapakale. I'll dip my brush dun sa black. Brows are better. There are three colors in the East Coast Glam Makeup Collection. Macau, Tora, and Erin. The lipsticks retail for 349 pesos while the lip liners are 249 pesos. It doesn't really say how much of the product you have in every tube. It's the name dami ng lipstick. There's 306 milligrams in the lip liner. So for this look, I wanted to use a combination of Tora and Macau. The lip liner is very, very soft on the lips. I'm sorry, my lips are dry. So that is the lip liner. There's no tugging on the lips, as you can see. It's very creamy on the lips. I've always liked the lipsticks of Maybelline. There's zero tugging in. Actually, it is still super nude. Erin is pretty dark, so that's that's good. I'm just gonna put a little bit, like maybe, ayan, just to put a little bit of color. Ang ganda sa ano no, morena na skin tone. I feel like my lips are a little too nude. So this is my East Coast Glam Makeup look. It's very warm. It's very nude. I'm just gonna remove all this lipstick and try Erin Lang. I'm also gonna try yung lip liner na Erin. I like it. Lip liner pala okay na, no? And this is so much better. Erin is like a dark mauve. I'll add a little bit of shimmer. Nakukulangan ako sa look eh. It's a jet setter na palette. I'm gonna use the shimmer. It has the biggest pan. Nice. Sato lang. I like it. And this is it for the East Coast Glam Makeup Look. Let's move on to the West Glam Makeup Look.